am so freaking excited right now. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you. So, as you guys seen the title already, this is going to be a first impression slash review on Rihanna's Fenty Beauty line. I did pick up a foundation and a highlight just because I couldn't afford all of the collection. So, so I was planning to get it online, but I was like, um... No, I don't want to wait so long. So I went to Sephora and I picked up the goodies. So like I said, I picked up a foundation and I also picked up a highlight. This is the um, shade 320. And let me show you guys the packaging. Like, it's kind of the size of my hand. And everybody is loving this pump. I personally love this pump. Because the foundation that I do have right now and that I am using is the L'Oreal Infallible one. And... Um, this doesn't even have a pump. It has like a little tube to come out. So I just go like this. But I love me the pump. So. And this is my first ever like high end um, foundation. So. I like. I just love. I just love the way how she just made everything affordable. Like you expect Rihanna because she's Rihanna to make it like expensive like Kylie Jenner expensive because Kylie Jenner is pretty expensive so I thought like it was gonna be like Kylie Cosmetics <laughs> nothing to compare with and then I also picked up the highlight this is her Kilowatt Freestyle highlighter and it's in the shade Trophy Wife wait hold on so when I got home yesterday from buying this I opened it but it was hard for me to open it what? the sun literally like just disappeared right now Anyway, so it was pretty hard for me to open it, so I kind of made like a dent, and then I tried to like smooth it out, but kind of made it worse. So we're going to be trying the foundation first, but I'm going to first tell you what the box says the foundation does. So it's a medium to full coverage for all, long wear, and it is light as air. So it says shake well, so <laughs> let me shake this pretty well. So now I'm going to be applying some on the back of my hand. I am so excited, you guys. Wah, wah. I am not used to this amount of coverage on my hands. Well, oh my god, I am so... I, it literally feels like I have nothing on. Like, do you... It looks like skin. I am so... Oh my... That's one pump, actually, so... I don't really, also I don't typically like apply foundation on my forehead just because my forehead is like darker and I don't really like the effect how it looks like. I, I just don't put foundation on my forehead so I'm not going to do that. But I know she also did come out with a primer herself and I wish I could have gotten that but can't afford it. Wow. I am amazed. I ugh, I can't stress this enough. I feel it feels like I have nothing on. Like I. It feels like oh my god! It feels like my skin. Like it doesn't feel sticky. Like you guys, this is amazing. But I kind of like. I don't know if you could tell. Like I'm sorry if I'm looking this way. It's like there's a mirror right here, so I'm kind of like looking at my skin um it kind of looks like it oxidized into like a darker shade i don't know if it's just me i don't know if the camera's picking it up but it kind of looks a little bit darker than how it looked in the beginning and i think i could go for a lighter shade actually so i think i'm gonna go exchange it for a different shade so this is um 320 and i think i'm gonna go back for a 310 Okay, now I finish applying my concealer and a little bit of eyeshadow and some mascara and also lipstick. 
so so now we're gonna go on to the highlight you guys i am so excited for this like okay so i am gonna get this i usually use this for my highlight recently so this is the real techniques base shadow brush i swear to god i I need some studio lights up in here because the sun is not cooperating. So I'm going to be using this brush. Honestly, I don't know where this brush is from, but it has a flat brush on one end and a smudger brush on the other end. So I'm going to be getting this brush right here and I'm just going <laughs> to... Ah! I'm just going to be applying some on the inner corner of my eye. I'm also going to be applying some on my eyelid with my finger. That is so cute. Oh my God. I'm also kind of scared to apply a lot. I'm so pregnant. Like just that little bit. Do you see that? You got, oh my god. That was a little too much, but I feel like a hundred bucks right now. Like you guys my final review on the Fenty Beauty products that I personally bought. So, first off, the foundation. The foundation feels so lightweight. Like they said, it was full coverage to, it was medium to full coverage. Totally true. Once I applied it on, you saw the coverage that it gave me. And it, it just feels, it feels like skin. I'm not even kidding with you. Like, it feels like you're turning like... <laughs> um... And now for the highlighter, you guys. Do you see this? Like, <laughs> I just feel glowy. Like, like I know when I first saw the yellow highlight, it, like it looks golden and yellow. So I was just like yellow, like, like yellow, <laughs> yellow. It's just way, 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 way better in person. I totally recommend you guys to stop by Sephora and check it out and see what you like, see what you don't like. I personally love this freaking highlight. It just looks like, I don't know, it just looks glowy. Like, But I totally recommend you guys to go check it out. I totally recommend you guys to at least buy one product of her um, Fenty Beauty line. But this concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, always make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.